All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what I'm about to show you is a startling and disturbing video uh, that happened on the campus of Mount Olive Middle School. And before I even explain the video to you, I'm just going to show it to you so you can so you guys can see uh, what the video is about. Now, this is apparently uh, between the changes of classes and my knowledge. And I'm going to start it from the beginning. Now, as you see in the video, um, that there are uh, some young girls, I assume they are middle school students, and uh, you see one girl, uh, well, actually two girls in the video, uh, running up behind uh, the young uh, other girl and uh, violently pushing her on the ground. Uh, laughing and joking he, and you even hear one child using uh, somewhat of an expletive and so um, and even the other child behind the girl who pushed the girl uh, was actually had her phone out recording too Now this happened yesterday on the campus of Mount Olive Middle School in Mount Olive North Carolina and there's a lot of things troubling about what you just saw uh, for one of course there is you know assault uh, the way that the child was pushed she actually could have been you know injured her neck jerking and things like that uh, but we must ask ourselves as well where were the teachers uh, if this happened between the change of class and I'm not too familiar uh, with Mount Olive uh, middle school campus but apparently there's a field that they have to walk across and um, evidently there you see there was no supervision. But more disturbing is uh, how uh, this incident came to be known. Uh, it was told by the person who sent me the video and the information about the event that the little girl who was pushed uh, and another friend, I think you saw the other friend exactly uh, walking in the video. The other friend and the little girl went to uh, an authority figure. Now, I don't know if this authority figure was uh, the principal, another teacher, assistant principal, whoever. But they were just told to, you know, pretty much, you know, be quiet and go back to class. So, so how did this um, event come to be known? Apparently, as you see, this video was shared uh, on uh, multiple, well, to multiple people. And I, I believe one parent uh, got the video from their student's phone. And in turn, um, they alerted, they either alerted uh, the principal or they posted it on Facebook. And actually, um, the Facebook post uh, that was made concerning the incident reads as thus because I, I they sent me a screenshot of that Facebook post. Uh, the Facebook post says, um, "Well, the act the, the 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 guardian of the young lady responded to the Facebook post where uh, it was." Posted on social media. I think the lady's name was Jamie Works Works or something like that. Uh, but uh, the guardian of the young lady uh, stated, 
Um, thanks for sharing. I am the child's grandfather. Uh, me and my wife raised her from the time that she was 14 months old. I still continue to raise her the best I can. It literally broke my heart when she came to me last night crying. She asked me if I wanted to see the video. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Uh, and the, my granddaughter said it started last week. I'm not going to say too much now uh, for the sake of being that pissed. So, um, evidently, the young child also knew that the video was circulating. And so, we live in an age of social media where children do do things and they circulate them amongst each other. And uh, as you see, when they were pushing the girl, they were laughing and joking and things of that nature. Uh, but this situation could have really turned, you know, bad or sour. You know, if the uh, other child could have retaliated or the other child could have been felt so low or bully that she went and, you know, hurt someone else or even hurt herself. So while, you know, they are sharing it at, as entertainment, uh, this, something, this is something that, you know, has to be taken much seriously. And I don't know the daughters, I mean, the, the other young ladies, uh, in the video, um, and you know, I don't know their parents or anything, and I, you know, I, I hope nobody gets mad at me. I hope the the anger should be taken out on you know the the young child's action or even you know the lack thereof discipline. And I know children do things unaware of their parents. So, um, but um, this is something that um, did not come to the principal's attention until. The guardian of the young lady who was pushed went out to the school, and I, I maybe uh, I think they he showed them the video, and um, it was said, you know, through some communication that uh, Mr. Cromarty knows about the incident. I think the guardian called the police department and Wayne County Public Schools, so. Um, I don't know what has been done. If I'm not mistaken, uh, the child who pushed her uh, was suspended uh, until next Tuesday, which would be five days, um, which, you know, I think that is justified. Uh, but um, the fact that it takes social media to bring these things to light is evidence of negligence or an inefficient supervisory uh, system in our public school system uh, today. And um, we don't know why, um, you know, these things happen. Um, as you see, uh, the two little girls who uh, were bullying the, the victim was... Uh, quote unquote black girls and the victim was a quote unquote white girl and I say quote unquote that's a whole nother story but um there you know is 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 always a uh you know sense of of, of racial components to act actions like this I won't say it is it's all about race and you know it's just you know really just you know just unacceptable behavior but you know if i'm not mistaken it has been said that the young white girl may have had a young black boyfriend and you know that may have been uh some of the reasons why she was bullied or targeted not saying that it was and not saying that you know the other student is a complete angel as well i don't know the backstory what happened before or what happened after but all I have to go by is once again this this information uh, that I ha that I that I was given and the video. So I'm going to let you guys see this video again, and you know you can make your own conclusions about. And this is also fair use. You know, I'm doing showing this video for commentary purposes. <laughs> So you hear the girl ask her why is she walking away for her? And then she runs up and pushes the girl down. Uh, the girl, you know, gets up. She doesn't retaliate. 
uh, they continue to, I guess, antagonize her. And once again, you see no adults in the picture. They're not even uh, in fear of any disciplinary actions. Okay, and I think they were right there. So she asked her, well, see, I didn't see that first part of the video where they were actually face to face. And so I don't know if there were any licks passed before that. So, um, you know, we don't want to, you know, pass too much judgment because, and I'm going to start it from the beginning again and just stop right there. Uh, but if you see, see, I don't know if there was a kick there or whatever, but now you see. And she asked her what she walking away for. And the thing is, uh, the young lady knows she's being recorded. And so that's um, what we call the battery in the back syndrome, where, you know, people allow, you know, their friends or associates to influence them to su do something uh, that they may not uh, or they may should not be doing. But nevertheless, um, this incident has been uh, exposed uh, the um, individual uh, who pushed the young lady uh, has been suspended and uh, there may be, you know, other actions taken amongst the town. Now, I, I, I am totally against now this is I mean, this is any any person. I am kind of totally against any criminal charges being brought against children uh, when they're, you know, doing child things not saying it's right but you know i remember when you know they first started uh when we would get in a fight in high school they first started making us go to court for a fray which meaning you're basically putting us in the criminal justice system and i remember the first time i i got in a fight and we had to go to court they took out a charge on us and me and the other guy and his parents and my parents were like no we're going to drop the charge we don't want to prosecute and which was, you know, that's that's because once again, children make mistakes where they shouldn't be punished lifelong uh, for those mistakes. However, you know, that is not my daughter, so I can't say what should or should not be done uh, in that instance. That you know, I, I don't, you know, and, and if anybody has a daughter, um, you know, I, th there's no. There's no right and right, right way wrong to handle this. If you feel like going to the authorities, then, you know, that's what you feel you should do. Then, you know, by all power means do it. Um, especially, you know, when things like that are caught on tape and you see uh, the carefree nature, uh, the the callousness, um, the, the lack of concern or empathy um, for what they were doing. Nevertheless, if you got any information about these or any more events, uh, my number is 919-587-7782. Uh, one part of the text said, Mr. Cromartie knows. I know that the Cromarties are very uh, prominent in the Mount Olive area, so I don't know how or why uh, his name was mentioned. And if I'm not mistaken, I looked up the principal of um, Mount Olive Middle School, and I think if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, the principal is uh, a Miss Winter Goodson. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, so, you know, I don't know if she was, she was informed or, you know, what, what type of, uh, recourse that she has given, uh, the young lady, but if I'm not mistaken, let me double check. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not beyond, uh, correction, but this is once again, another Wayne County public school. Uh, and who is, uh, that is under fire administration. Okay. Let me see who's in the administration. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Edward Cromarty. Now I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, Mrs. Woodson, uh, Goodson. Uh, but this is Edward Cromarty. Now I don't know uh, Mr. Cromarty, uh, personally, but he looks like a pretty stand up guy, but uh, nevertheless, um, we don't need this behavior in our schools uh, from any of our children, putting other children in danger. Uh, bullying and all of that is really getting out of hand. I have like three or four more stories I have to do uh, concerning uh, this the, these events. So uh, hopefully this event will get rectified. Hopefully 
the parents or the guardians of you know those, that that those children will uh, reprimand them and show them that their actions are you know not conducive to a um, you know safe society uh, for themselves either you know then because you know you it, it, it only takes one time for somebody to get tired of you bullying them and then you know they come back with something and hurt you then you know now they're the bad guy. But, um, you know, you have to be careful with those actions. But nevertheless, 919 uh, Peace and blessings to everybody.